identity of policemen crushed to death by police van chasing Yahoo Boys in Ikiti revealed. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Sahar reporters have reported that the RRS operated while chasing suspected fraud stars, otherwise known as Yahoo Boys, hit Ayeni, who was on a motorcycle along Federal Polytechnic Adoija Road in Ikiti State. Okay, about 24 to 48 hours ago, information reaching us was that the police, in their normal nonsensical attitude, I'm sorry, I just had to say this. A lot of things have been happened recently. We all hear, we all heard about the arrest of um, Uche Mwosu, who, who was the former, who was the, who is the in-law of the former governor of Imo State. They came in commando style. They went to a church filled with people, children, youths, aged, nursing mother, pregnant women. They were shooting sporadically. People with high blood pressure there. People with all kinds of sickness that dragged themselves to church because it was during this festive period. They were also there. They went there. They went with commando style. As if they want to kidnap a, uh, what's the name of this man? Is it Osama bin Laden? Is it Usman bin Fodio? Which of a person? Or the man that even started this jihad, Muslim jihad war? Sincerely. So, the police now again, while we are still thinking about that one, everybody is still calling for justice because I'm like, why? What if in the in the you shooting sporadically into the air the bullets touch somebody? Will you have said sorry and left? If in that moment the youth of a community came out and something else began to happen and people started dying, they are going to say, eh, it is the unknown gunman. That is what the that is what the media will say. They will cover it up. They will. This is insight even on the side of the person. Look, people are saying eh, it is because it is the former governor of Imo State in law. I'm saying no. Even if it is an, a, an ordinary Nigerian like me and you, we are still going to be having, we are, we are changing a lot of things. Any behavior that does not make sense, we speak out. See, the earlier we speak up about this thing. Okay, look at you. We're still talking about that one. Do you see that somebody has died? Common sense should tell you, you are chasing somebody, you are chasing somebody, and you get to where there is people. Please, another person go before you kill another person. Now you have committed a crime yourself. Yes, now. You have committed a crime yourself. Common sense should tell you, ah, this, we are entering into the area. Okay, let's just, just copy a split number. If you cannot copy, let them go. Another day. And I'm seriously of the opinion that it is suspected fraudsters. They might have just seen those boys who came back with their clean motto and they are looking fresh and good with their fine phone. Maybe they started chasing them. And those ones too started running. If you get to the root of the matter, you will not even sincerely if they investigate this matter. Had it been they cost them them, I'm sure they would have labeled them thieves and criminal. That is it. Let's listen to the rest of the news. Pictures of a policeman, Supol Ayene, crushed to death by a patrol van belonging to the Rapid Response Squad, RRS units of Akita State Police Command have been exclusively obtained by Sahara reporters. Sahara reporters have reported that the RRS operated right chasing suspected fraud stars, otherwise known as Yahoo Boys, hit Ayene, who was on a motorcycle along Federal Polytechnic Adoijo Road in Akiti. The deceased who was attached to Odo Ido police station was said to have died on the spot. He actually came home to eat. His wife has a shop around Abe Ibira in the, com in the polytechnic community. There is this bath spot along the road beside the Shiloh. So the deceased came to his wife's shop to eat. He came with one of his friend's motorcycle. He was working at Odo Ido, which is not that far from here. The RR operators were in two Hilux vehicles chasing the Benz. I don't know why they were chasing where they were chasing the guys from. 
as they were about to overtake the Benz, the deceased, who is popularly known as Babada, was coming from the other side and one of the vehicles hit him. He died immediately, the source told Sahara reporters. A colleague of the deceased who spoke to Sahara reporters confirmed the incident. He added that the IRS operatives involved have been identified and detained at the state quarters. Yes, Supolayeni is dead. He was hit by RRS van. I am still confused, my brother. This was someone I saw earlier today. Because of the lack of common sense. Because of lack of applying what they call common sense. Why we are still talking about that one? No? I'm still telling you, the police have lost the respect I had for. Look, the military operative is something else in this country. They are gradually turning into the criminals themselves. Let me even, let me even, let me even just, you know, <laughs> say this particular one. This particular news now, information getting to us was that on the 24th and 25th, where people, I know that 24th and 25th, there are many people who are going to be traveling even on that day. 24th, they will want to see, let me go and spend my, 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 my holiday, no matter if it is two, three, four, five days. Let me spend it with them. Let me spend it with my people. Do you know what happened in Enugu, in, in Kano East local government area? Do you know that the army, oh my goodness, the army went into people's houses by midnight when people are preparing to go to church? <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. People were preparing to go to church. Do you know what happened? They went into people's homes. I don't know who gave them the infantry. I don't know who gave them that warrant. Army going into people's homes to shoot them. Sincerely. I am telling people, this one is no longer a fight for civilians. I said, opening up, see, this one is not inciting anybody. My attention is now telling the people who call themselves South soldiers. While you are busy, because I know definitely the army, when they are dispersing people now, when somebody applies to be an army officer and the person is from the East, you don't get to go to the East. You're either posted to where? The south or north. It is like that. And the north, maybe the east. The west, they just scatter them like that. You don't go to where you can speak their language. Let me now say this. Why those who are in the south, who are in the north, are saving the colleagues of those who are in the north? They are saving their, north, their northern family friends, family members, relatives, mothers, sisters, nieces, nephews. The, the, the so-called military officers in the, in, the, in the east, in the south, they are actually killing. I won't see. It is not a matter of uh, inciting. This is what is happening. So now this man, we are still talking about this one and the one that the police did. This one has happened. It is high. We need overhauling. Our military, they need overhauling. They need to put people who are thinking with their brain there. So that we'll stop losing lives. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning into a lesson. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.